kids and adults. So, no matter who's out there, we hope you participate. We've got Lucy Grace here. And Lucy Grace, do you want to tell everybody a couple of things about yourself? Um, I love yoga and um, even though you can be young, like I'm 10 years old, it doesn't matter what age you are, it matters that it's what you like. That's and, awesome. And I've learned a lot of yoga because uh, my family does a lot of yoga. And Who's your grandma? Uh, my grandma does a lot of yoga. What's her name? She has a name like yours? Lucy Cordy is your grandma. Got it. Okay. She does a lot of yoga, so we've learned a lot. So Lucy Grace is ready to show us how the young at heart will do it. And Jessica's here. You got any shout outs today? Um, Reese oh, I Reese? will say hi to my nieces, whose name is Lucy and Reese. And Reese. Lucy and Reese. Hi, guys. So this is for adults and children, but there's going to be some fun stuff in here. So if you tuned in and thought, oh, yoga for kids, I don't want to do that. No, stay with us. We're going to give you a nice little workout. It's probably going to be about 45 minutes. Yeah. First thing we're going to do is we're going to warm up our neck and shoulders. We're going to roll our shoulders back. Big circles back. And then let's do a couple of shrugs, like we don't care. <laughs> no big deal. And then we're going to do a neck warm up like a turtle. So let's all be turtles. Forward, back, forward, and back. Popping our head out of our shell. Awesome. And then let's like lay our head down to the side like we're taking a little nap. Mm -hmm. Did you sleep well? Oh yeah. Let's go the other way. And then this time let's drop our chin to the chest and look down. Do you feel a stretch on the back of your neck, Lucy? Oh yeah. Let's do all those again. Let's do some shoulder rolls. A few shrugs. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Do you your homework? Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. <laughs> no biggie. It's 12 a.m. No biggie. No biggie. All right. Let's do our turtle. Forward and back. They do. They pop in and out of their shells. And have you noticed, Lucy Grace, that a lot of them are coming out right now? It seems the time of year. I saw like five this weekend. Yeah, I've seen some at like rivers. Yeah. I just always get scared when I see them in the road. I don't want them to get run over. Turtles are my favorite animals. Are they? Yeah. Cool. Okay, everybody's going to step up to the front of their mat or the front of the rug, and we're going to do sun salutations. And these are a series of asanas or yoga poses that we'll chain together. And they're called sun salutations. So that's the first thing we're going to do. We're going to salute the sun. We're going to rise up, look up towards the sun. We're going to swan dive down. And we're going to take our hands and put it on our shins. And we're going to look forward, flatten our back. We're going to exhale, look towards our feet. And take your hands on either side of your feet and step back with your right foot. The left foot is gonna join the right and you're in plank. I know you know how to do this. Looks like we're about to do a push-up. Just drop to your knees and show people that they can do an alternative, a modified plank. And then slowly we're gonna go down with our elbows next to our body as if we are doing a push-up. And then we're gonna take a little rest on the mat. Let's flatten our feet on the mat. And can you show me Cobra, Lucy Grace? I bet you know that one. You betcha. So we're gonna come up into Cobra. And then we're going to lay back down. This time, tuck your toes under, and we're going to push our hips back into down dog. You know, if you have a dog at your house, I bet you've seen them do this move before. Oh my, my dogs gosh. do it all the time. My Yorkie goes like me. <laughs> your Yorkie does it, yeah. Feel the stretch. Look between your hands and bring your right leg through. And feel that stretch again. Feel that back leg lengthening. Nice hip opener. And then bring your left foot up to your right. 
and we're going to bend our knees, and we're going to rise up and salute the sun again, and arch back a little bit this time, and hands to heart center. Let's do it again on the other side. Salute the sun, inhale up. Exhale, swan dive down. And then place your hands on your shins. Look forward. Exhale down. Hands on either side of your feet. This time the left foot goes back. Hold that lunge. Bring the right foot back to join it. You're in a plank, or Jess will show that modified plank. We slowly go down, slow, slow, slow. And we're gonna rest on the mat. Feet are flat, and Lucy, let's do our cobra. We can do a full cobra like Lucy Grace is doing, or I'm doing a modified one. I'm gonna lay back down. This time I'm gonna tuck my toes under. I can go to all fours or I can go right into down dog. And this time when we're in down dog, we're gonna lift one heel at a time. And then we're gonna press the other heel down. It's like we're walking in place. Inhale and exhale. Very good. And then when you're ready, we're gonna look between our hands again, and we're gonna bring our left foot forward, and we feel that lunge, and then we bring the right foot up to meet it, bend our knees a little bit, and rise back up and salute the sun. Look up for the sun, and arch back a little bit. Place your hands together, hands to heart center. We're going to go through this again on the right side. We'll add a little something this time. Inhale, arch back, swan dive down. Take a deep dive like you're going into the swimming pool. Hands on the shins, flat back, look forward. Feel the back of your legs stretch. Exhale, look down. Hands on either side of the feet. The right foot comes back. Let's stay here in a lunge. And Lucy Grace, we're going to put our knee right over our ankle. And this time we're going to move our hands, both of our hands, on the inside of our foot. Okay, little challenge move. If you can, bring that outside arm up and look up. If you topple over, no problem. You just come right back into it. Reach up. This is a deep triangle pose. I kind of want to push Jessica over, should we? No. No, no that would be do me. Bring your hands back to the inside of your foot, then take it to the other side and step back and you're in that push-up again, or looking like you're gonna do a push-up. We're gonna slowly go down, but our elbows are close to our body. And we're gonna rest. Let's take a little breather. This time, let's stack our hands one on top of the other and just rest. Top of our feet are flat on the mat. Does your back feel good already? Oh yeah. Now, Keep your chin glued to your hands and you're just gonna raise up, inhale, exhale down. Inhale, raise up like you're flying. Raise up and exhale. Two more times, raise up and down. Up and down. Very nice. Slide your hands close to your chest. Let's go into our cobra. Yeah, that's an option. You can do that. Lift up. I like it. Bring it back down. Let's tuck those toes under. And again, we're going to push back to down dog. Now this time, walk your feet in a little bit. Press your hands into the earth. Press your chest towards your thighs. And how about if we lift that leg up? Let's lift the left leg up and bring it up towards the ceiling. And point your toes. You flipped your dog, didn't you? What Lucy just did is called flipping the dog, and we might get to that. Tickle the clouds with your toes, everybody. There's clouds up there. Tickle the toes. Tickle the clouds. Good. And bring that leg down. Woo, that's some work, huh? Drop down to all fours. Let's take a little breather. And guess what you get to do now? You get to wiggle it out. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Wiggle that back, wiggle that, spin, that spine.
time, your wiggle can be slow or fast. That feels pretty good. Okay, let's go back to down dog, press back, and we're gonna bring the right leg up and tickle the clouds with your toes. Tickle the clouds, reach for them. Hey, maybe your cloud's a little lower today. You can lower your leg, tickle it out here. And then down to all fours. Let's wiggle it, wiggle it out. What kind of animal wiggles? Um, dogs do. Sometimes. Dogs do. My dog goes like. <laughs> Does he? Oh, especially when they're shaking off, like yeah. they're wet, right? Yeah. My dog gets excited about that when we get home. His tail's like ninety to nothing. He's excited like, to see you, right? Yeah, he's super nice. Let's go back to down dog. Press your chest towards your thighs, and again, adults out there. This is a great yoga workout for you as well. Press back, look between your hands, and let's bring the left foot through first. Oh no, we're back to the right, aren't we? Oh, let me yeah, think about right. that. We're back to the right, I had to think about that a little bit. Okay, this is that challenge one. We gotta bring the hands to the inside, and the outside hand lifts up. Like this? And you're nice. in triangle. You're going to breathe and focus. Breathe and focus. Stretch. The good thing about yoga, Jessica, would you say, because it takes a little concentration, is that good for kids and adults? Yes. I do. That's very good. And bring it back. Does everybody know that Jessica used to be a teacher in Springdale? Yeah? Bring your hands on either side of your foot. Step back. Plank. One more time. A look between your hands. And this time, kids, if you want to try this, you can. Jessica is going to step up left leg, right leg, then left leg. Kids, if you want to, you can try it. Up, up. Good job. And slowly come up. Salute the sun. And hands to heart center. All right, do one more time on the left. Inhale up, swan dive down, you're going into the water. Hands to the shins, flat back. Bring your head down, hands on either side. This time the left foot comes back. The right foot joins us, plank or modified, slowly lower down. And this time, we're going to rest our hands out to the side, and all we're going to do is lift our legs up three times. Inhale up, and our chest comes up and down. Your arms are going to stay down, but your head and legs come up. Ready? Inhale up and down. Inhale up and down. Can we do two more? Sure. Inhale up. Exhale down, inhale up, exhale down. Slide your hands right by your chest, bend your knees, tuck your toes under. Let's go to all fours for a moment. And then back to our down dog, press back, press back and let's hold it here for a moment. And then look between your hands. Bring your left leg through your hands. You're in that lunge. Right foot joins the left. Bend the knees and rise up. Salute the sun one last time. Arch back. Hands to heart center. Very nice. So Jessica has um, a couple of favorite yoga moves that she does. And she's going to show us. Okay, so the first one is the elephant. So we're gonna bend over, and we're just gonna bend over at our hips, just hinge a little, and take your hands and interlace them. And that's your trunk, your arms and your hands. And then sway from side to side. Oh, this is good. Oh, yeah. Now adults, if you're doing elephant, you wanna make sure you tuck your abs in, protect your spine. Fun sometimes 
sometimes if you want to play a trick, you can put some water in your hands and squirt it out when somebody comes. But you didn't hear that from me. <laughs> All right. And then how about another one? Now, I really used to like flamingos. I still do. But Lucy Grace actually gave me a flamingo sticker with my name on it. Oh. And uh, so flamingos, my favorite thing about flamingos is, do you know why flamingos are pink? They would be just white, but what they eat. The shrimp. Right? Yes. Yeah, I love them. Smart kid here. Smart kid. I'm All right. Shrimp. <laughs> You're a shrimp eater? Well, no wonder I'm so pink sometimes. <laughs> you got pink on your shirt today. Yeah, blushing too. Pink yeah. shrimp made it. So. so the flamingo is kind of like you guys might know it as the tree, but we take one leg take one foot and we turn it into there and we can actually just like the tree you can do it down at the ankle or try to give yourself a little bit challenge and go up to the knee but the opposite arm you want to bring above yeah exactly if you need to focus on something I like this and then a fun thing to actually do is you can Oh, hop a little. You don't have to if you don't want. Okay. You can hop a my little. Fling, my flamingo's lazy today. He yeah, stands lazy still. Flamingo. Yeah. Lazy. All right. Then we can switch and do the other side. And the opposite arm up. And you're turning your knee to the side, Jessica. Yes, you're turning your knee to the side. Try to really try to focus on something. Pick something in your house that you see in front of you. And see if you can really stay still. It's frozen. Good job. And then maybe a hop. Believe it or not, flamingos hop. It's true. <laughs> <laughs> not this flamingo. Not that flamingo. Lazy flamingo. My flamingo. Awesome. I bet all you guys at home too have a favorite move. So think about it. I know a lot of gym teachers do yoga. You probably know. I know all of you guys at least know the tree. Quite a tree. But think about your favorite move. And you can do it for a second. Do you have a favorite move? Mm -hmm. What's your favorite move? Can you show us? Well, it's, it's almost like the downward dog, but it's like a cat down, like downward cat. Cool. If the difference is downward dogs, they go like this, but their head, but cats go like this, where their heads is by, like, the head is by there. Oh, okay. So you kind of move forward a little bit, huh? That way your head is, like, right by your arms, and you're still, like, in So everybody make your own version of your, maybe you have a cat at home. Just play around with this pose. What's your cat's name? Um, Oreo. Oreo! She's Oreo. just a little two-year-old cat. <laughs> she is very evil. She's an evil cat. Yeah. You can come down to all fours. I like that, Lucy Grace. Thank you. And I like that flamingo and that elephant, too. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> We're going to go back and wiggle a little bit. And then Jess is going to show us one more of her favorites. So, again... We're just kind of wiggling our hips, and maybe we're thinking about shaking our tail feathers. Maybe we're a um, peacock, or maybe we're a turkey, and maybe the turkey's just slow today, and he's, you know, moving around, or maybe it's an excited, a fish? Yeah, sure, a fish wiggles their backside. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Just feel what's right for you. What feels good to you. All right, Jess, do you have one more for us? Yeah, so this move is a really good move if you get frustrated. Because sometimes when we get frustrated, we kind of go up in a ball. So this is a really good move. Maybe you need to take a time out and just relax. It's really good. I cry a lot. Don't tell anybody, but sometimes when I cry, it's really good. So I'll show, there's a modified one too, because I can't do, this is called the oyster. 
for the kids. But you put your, the bottom of your feet together and then you take your arms and you wanna put them under your knees. Now, if you're a really flexible kid, which I've seen some, you can actually, your elbows can actually touch the ground. But you really, and then you just wanna come down. You're trying to be like a shell. And you want to breathe in as you come up with your head. Breathe out as you lower. And when you're crying, or I'm crying, it's kind of loud, but that's okay. So it's like you're opening your shell and closing it, right? Yep. And sometimes it's good to count to ten in your head. Or count like sheep. Yep, or count sheep. And then another one. And we can do that again, because I'll give you a chance, is what I like to call the jack-in-the-box. And that's where we put our feet together on the ground. We have our knees up, and we wrap around. And we're just gonna do the same thing with our head. And sometimes we, I, sometimes we, I get in this position when I'm upset sometimes, so it works for me to just go to this position and relax and count. I like to do it in the corner or in my bedroom. And you just wanna bring your head down, and you can rest your forehead on your knees. called rolling like a ball. And it's actually a Pilates exercise. Um, and Pilates is just another form of exercise, but it balances like what Lucy Grace was saying. So the first thing you're gonna do is think about making your body like a ball. So you're gonna round your back like the letter C, okay? So you're gonna lean back and put your heels on the floor to start. So if we looked at just from the side, do you see her C? I do. I do. Yeah. Okay, now we're gonna lift our feet up off the ground to tabletop position. This looks like a boat. Yep, it does. But we're rounding our back. We're gonna roll back so we're resting on our shoulder blades, and we're gonna come up and stick our landing. Oh, man. We're gonna roll it's back on your shoulder blades and then hold it. Engage your abs. Adults, this is great for you too. It gives you a little spinal massage. We're working our abs our core we're gonna hold it okay and you want a challenge move you can bring your legs out straight and you're gonna roll back don't go past your shoulder blades you're gonna rest your neck long on the back like this that one's harder and then hard back to up put your feet right here oh man i keep going do them as slow as you like if you want to, you can go back into the bent knee position. Now, if you want to try a little bit more difficult, you can even touch your feet on the floor. I can't floor. do that. I have short legs. There you go. Oh, and this legs. is a different yoga move, actually. We stayed here. <laughs> this is called plow. I can't do it. Okay, let's rest. You get, get your breathing up a little bit on that one. Like wake up. <laughs> yeah. So let's everybody just rock side to side and just listen to your body. What does that mean? What my body doesn't make any noises. It means connecting your mind to your body. And if your mind says, boy, you know what feels good right now? I'm gonna rock. That's cool. I like to do this in class, you know. Just like rock on Do you? On the carpet. Yeah. Oh, it's 
<laughs> All right, very nice. So let's stretch our legs out long in front of us now, and we'll do some full body stretches. What's an animal that's nice and long? Um, in the water? Sure. Or on land? Um, you either. The cat is long. Cat the can cat stretch long out long. They stretch out. How about like a snake? Oh, yeah. How yeah. about a snake? snake? Let's take our snake hands over our head, make our snake, and inch our snake out over our toes. Reach out for those toes. <laughs> Pull your abs in. Feel the back of your legs working. And then what does a snake do when he gets scared? He slithers back into his hole. Sit up tall. Bring those arms up overhead. Make your snake with your hands. Slither the snake out over your toes. And then get scared. <laughs> Breathe into it. You know those snakes like the sun. That's why they start to come out too. But along comes somebody scares them and they're going to slither back in. One more time. Bring your arms overhead. Snake it out as far as you can. Maybe you only go to your shins. That's okay. And slither back in to your hole and sit up nice and tall. Let's be starfish. Take your legs out to the side. Okay. And if you've seen a starfish on the beach or maybe you just have a shell, your arms are gonna be out here, right? If we were really a starfish, we'd be laying back, but we'll get to this. Modified starfish, right? Modified starfish. Yeah, modified starfish. We're just stretching out as long as we can. Fingertips out to the side of our body. Let's point our toes out as far as we can. <laughs> and then let's bring everything into center. And now we're a sea urchin into the center. And reach out, lengthen out, sit tall. <laughs> and then see your chip. Real tight and compact. This is fun. Good. Inhale out. Seashell. I mean, sea. What? Starfish. 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 <laughs> Where am I? And see your chip. And relax. Relax. Okay, this one's called the rumble. And this is good too when you're upset or you're stressed. All we're going to do is vibrate our legs. We're going to rumble our legs on the mat as fast as you can. And you feel the back of your legs vibrating and all up into your body. How about rumble the rest of our body? Woo -hoo. Woo -hoo. It does? All it also easier to go. It's there, go. definitely better to stand. You got it. You got it. All right, so we're gonna lay back now. We're gonna do a couple of hip stretches, and then we're gonna do a little relaxation session, and we'll, we'll talk you through that. But first, we're gonna lay back onto our mats. We're gonna bend our knees. Our feet are gonna be flat on the mat. And you're gonna place your palms next to your hips, and we're gonna do some bridging. Up, lift our hips up, and then exhale, roll back down slowly. Relax on the mat. Bridge up and back down. I think of a snake when my spine is going down. Oh, that's good. I don't know why, but like a snake slowly coming down. So bridge up and then exhale. Let your spine slither back down. Two more times. Up. And down. I get tired. These are hard, aren't they? Yeah. Inhale up and down. All right, this is one of my favorites. It's called Happy Baby. You're going to keep your be lower back on the ground. You're going to bring your legs up, and you can take your hands around the outside of your feet and just grab, and like a baby, he likes to roll back lift their legs you're rolling back you could also grab your big toes and have your legs out your knees are bent but I've got my lower back on the floor and you're just rocking some of the babies might be rocking forward I like to rock side to side 
And then, this is called the lazy baby. Just bring your legs in and hold around the outside of your lower legs. And now you can do it some more. And just roll around. <clears throat> you big lazy baby. Come on. Yeah, lazy baby. What a lazy baby. <laughs> One more time. Happy baby. Bring the legs up. And then set your feet down. Relax for a moment. Just like Jess did before when she had the insides of your feet together, I want you to drop your knees out to the side. And I like to call this the butterfly. So I bring my butterfly wings in and I let my butterfly wings open. I bring them in and open. In and open. How about we flap like we're really flying with butterfly wings. Flap those wings in and out. And then on the last one, just let them open up wide. And we're just going to breathe and stay here. I'm sure you're seeing butterflies all over the place now. I've seen a few monarchs recently. Coming out. And then bring your wings back together. Let's cross one foot over one knee. And then grab for that bottom leg and bring it in. And then what I want you to do is lift that leg. And this is like an upside down letter uh, number four. You see the number oh, yeah. four? Yeah. Upside down? Oh, yeah. It's like a little key. It's a lucky number. <laughs> is it? It's my lucky number, yeah. Lucky number four. My lucky number is 16. 16. Well, I don't know if I can do it. 16. That's close to mine. Mine's 17. 17. Okay, bring it down. Let's go the other side. Cross the other leg over. Grab between your legs and reach for that leg that's on the floor. And pull it into your chest. And then bring the top leg up. relaxation. Now you don't have to lay back, but Jessica is showing and Lucy Grace are going to show a laying down relaxation position. Jessica's going to turn her palms out and so is Lucy Grace. Very nice. So Lucy Grace is showing a true Shavasana pose. You see how Lucy Grace's toes are pointed out? It allows her legs to completely relax. Now Jessica can bend her knees and put her feet flat on the mat because sometimes it just feels a little better that way. And you can sit if you want to relax. You could go into one of those positions like the oyster um, or the, what was it, Jack in the Box Jack that Jessica box. showed you. So you could relax here. But I do want you to close your eyes and just focus on your breath for a little bit. I'm going to talk you through it. Everybody close your eyes and start to think about nothing really. Just breathe. Just relax and slowly focus on slowing your breath down. Maybe taking some slow inhales through your nose. One, two, three, and exhale through your mouth like you're saying ha. ha. Inhale through your nose, two, three, Exhale through your mouth. Ha, two, three, four. Inhale. Exhale. And keeping your eyes closed and just relaxing and enjoying the quietness. In your mind's eye, picture, even with your eyes closed, picture in your mind one of your favorite places to go. 
maybe it's your favorite restaurant. Maybe it's your favorite vacation spot. Maybe it's your favorite place in your own backyard. Maybe it's to somebody's house, your friend's house, your grandma's house, your neighbor's house. Just picture it in your mind and breathe. And let the inside of your body smile as you go to your favorite place. And just think about what you would be doing at your favorite place if you were there right now. Maybe you'd be talking to your friends, ordering your favorite pizza, or giving your grandma a big hug. Just go to your favorite place. and imagine what you would do. And bring your focus back to your breath again, inhaling through the nose, nice and slow. Exhale through the mouth. I wanna hear Jessica and Lucy Grace say, ah. Inhale. Exhale, say One more time, inhale. And exhale. And we're all gonna roll over to our side, onto our left side. We just stay there like we're sleeping for just a moment. I almost fell asleep. Did you? That's yeah. good, that means you were relaxed. So we're just kind of laying on our side for a minute. And we can open our eyes now if you haven't already. And use this top hand and push into the floor and push yourself up until you're seated again. <laughs> I'm tired now. Uh, now we're ready for a real nap, huh? <laughs> Sit any way that's comfortable for you. You can be cross-legged like Lucy Gray, straight like Jessica out with the butterflies <clears throat> or anything that works for you. We're going to finish today with what's called um, sounding. <clears throat> and that's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, we're going to make noises. And the thought behind that is sometimes we need to make noise to let it all out. You know, sometimes we're a little frustrated. Sometimes we are just excited. Sometimes we're sad. We are going to sound like a lion today. Lion. We're going to roar like a lion. Okay. And there's no rules to this, except that the louder the better. Because as you use your mouth and sound, your muscles in your face are being activated. <clears throat> and that sounding connects to your whole body and it lets go of stress. So, should we use some arm movements? Yeah. 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 Okay, so we're going to do three roars. Okay? Ready? Inhale. And here we go. On the exhale, we're going to roar. Roar! <laughs> now, um, your lions weren't very scary. Mine what? was scary. Roar! My, my was scary. face was like a lion. Let's do, let's do that again. Yeah. Ready? Okay. Inhale. Get ready to roar. Roar! I think my grandfather's scared. <laughs> Is he scared out there? Back there. All right, we got one last one. Boy, that felt pretty good. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Make it our best. Ready? Inhale. Yeah. Good job. That was a good Air one. high five. That was a good one. Nice. All right, everybody. I hope you had some fun today. I hope you feel lighter, both physically and mentally and that you have a great rest of the day. Lucy Grace, do you want to say um, hi to anybody before we close? Hi, everyone. All right. To everyone. Jessica. Hi, everyone. Hi, Roar! Roar! Hi, Roar! <laughs> Bye, Lisa Wilson in Illinois. Oh, Bye. Hi, Lisa. Bye, Mom. Tomorrow, uh, we'll be here with Zumba with Allison, and Thursday, we've got Fit Blast with Carrie. Um, Reardon Hall is open 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. We want you to call to make a one-hour reservation. 
Branchwood will be opening on Monday the 11th. It'll be the same thing Friday afternoon and Saturday morning. You'll be able to call and make your reservation to work out. We're putting classes in person on hold until at least June. Unfortunately, um, to keep you safe, it requires a 12 foot distancing and we just don't have enough space in all our rec centers. So we're gonna make the best of it. Lucy will be back next week to live stream. Be safe. these classes. Woo!